scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. No. It's called Zoe, the life of God. There is a record that we have it. We are rising gradually to walking in the fullness of it. But it's no excuse for darkness. When we see them, we stamp them. Say amen. amen. But are you serving your way? Because not everybody qualifies to enjoy this thing we are talking about. There are people who your service, your service cannot rise as a memorial unto God. Isaiah 18. Let's walk this and go to the next one quickly. We have to pray. Isaiah 38, sorry. Isaiah 38, media help us. Isaiah 38, let's look at a very interesting story here about a death sentence over a man by a true prophet. Isaiah chapter 38. Are we there? Let me read it. When I get to a place where all of us will join, I would let us know. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. Sick unto what? New Living Translation. Don't turn there, but our new... Don't, don't give us New Living Translation. Modern day translation is an incurable disease. An incurable disease is a disease unto death. It says, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him saying, listen... Thus saith who? Not a demon. The Lord. Set thine house in order for thou shalt and not live. Isaiah was not a false prophet. He spoke from the mouth of the Lord. Let's see something that Hezekiah did. Verse 2. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Let's see the content of the prayer. Verse 3. And he said, remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee how i have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart and i have done that which is good in thy sight when you read about as Ez as you find out that he served god with his life his resources were coming to that and hezekiah wept so lord is this how you reward your servants will i serve you and now die that men will say i served you and you killed me verse 4 then came the word of the Lord again to Isaiah saying go and say to Hezekiah thus saith the Lord God of David thy father I have heard thy prayer I have seen thy tears behold I will add unto thy days 15 years verse 6 I will deliver thee and this city out of the king of Assyria and I will defend this city. He reminded God. Do you have the petitions that you take before God? And say Lord. Look at the devil destroying my family. I'm a faithful servant. In your house. Lord last week. Hundred people got born again. And oh God. I was part of those who led them outside. Remember. And God arises and says. No you are putting pressure on my integrity. I must arise and act for you. Hallelujah. 
it must be willing it must be joyful and you must serve God with diligence diligence you don't serve God with laziness and slackness you don't serve God with slothfulness you serve him willingly you serve him joyfully you serve him diligently let's go to the next one the next dimension of kingdom service so there's soul winning and establishment there is service in the house of god and then number three kingdom investments serving god with your resources kingdom investments one of the strangest mysteries of exemption kingdom investment it literally is an investment serving God with your resources serving God with your resources Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 popular scripture we all know it it says cry yet saying thus saith the Lord Zechariah not Zephaniah cry yet saying thus saith the Lord my cities he says through prosperity shall be spread abroad and I will yet comfort Zion cry yet say thus saith the Lord my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion and shall choose Jerusalem. My cities shall through prosperity. Listen, I want you to know that financial resources and other kinds of human resources play a major role in kingdom advancement. Don't mind those who tell you money is not important in kingdom advancement. No, that's not true. That's a wrong theology. We have money mongers and we have those who are frustrated with the issue of money. Both of them are wrong. Money is important just like the anointing. Financial resources are important for kingdom activities. And God's system is such that, listen, men wholeheartedly commit their lives, their resources and everything to the building of the kingdom by faith in obedience and total trust. And they in turn schedule seasons of untold breakthroughs and blessings is how the system of God works my cities through prosperity shall be spread abroad so whoever contributes with his resources to making the house of the Lord built to making sure that the activities of kingdom advancement keep on going that person qualifies for certain blessings Please give us Psalm 112 verse 9. NIV if we can get it. Psalm 112 verse 9. I love the rendition uh, that the NIV puts. If we can have that. Psalm 112 verse 9. This is the reason why many people Psalm Did I say 112? 122. I beg your pardon. 122. Psalm 122 verse 9. I like us to read one to read for the sake of the house of the Lord our God I will seek your I seek it not just to buy jeeps and cars houses vacations that's too small a reason to subject yourself to the stringent laws of wealth but it is for the sake of your house I will seek your prosperity I'm trusting God to bless me with resources oh God so that I will contribute in getting your activities done listen please the message of prosperity is not a demonic message there is such a message called the message of prosperity and it is not a demonic message it may have been taught selfishly it may have been taught inaccurately but that does not stop the fact that there is such a message and it is part and parcel of the truths of the gospel that believers must learn and know is God's economic system 
where people empower the advancement of his kingdom and receive rewards listen listen kingdom investment has nothing to do with just tithes kingdom investment is not tithing kingdom investment is not worship offering kingdom investment is a sacrifice a commitment between you and God to commit your resources on a continuous basis to seeing that his house is built to seeing that his kingdom is advanced the gospel is preached lives are saved this is a commitment it is not a special thing that you gather believers and say okay right now all of you bring one one thousand naira it is the inaccurate understanding of the things of God that sometimes will have to necessitate those special events. Listen, part of the financial system of my life, every major money that comes to me, I know that investing in the kingdom is part and parcel of my spiritual growth process. No special event. If X amount comes to me, my tight God's portion is going. I will never come to the house of God empty-handed. I come with my worship offering joyfully. There is a portion for my parents to bless their life. There is a portion to bless people and improve on their lives. But then there is a huge, and I mean huge truly, for the advancement of the kingdom. I have a list of men of God I have a list of ministries that I sow into their life perpetually continually some per week some per month continually except resources don't come not big some of them don't even know me kingdom investment with all humility and i say this just to let some of us know not just to brag or make noise there are many programs that have happened in this city many programs that have happened around this nation and parts of the world that i just keep quiet i just carry a seed as god directs and i say you go and sow go and give that man of god sometimes i say just tell him no problem there's no need announcing it sometimes i say don't even tell them just go and sow this seed and i'm happy to see that my seed is saving souls I'm happy to see that someone's life posters are printed through my seat I'm happy this water now is probably someone's seed you see that this pulpit right now is someone's seed a commitment to contributing resource wise to see in the kingdom you don't have to wait i keep challenging believers listen i wish i'm not the one teaching you this but i love you too much i have a scriptural obligation to teach you the truth and that i will do regardless of how you feel i'll teach you the truth don't think this is some system to coerce money no 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 no. i fear god too much to do that but i have to tell you the truth because it's what i'm also doing a true kingdom investor finds a need in the house of god he's not told about the need you find it the same way you find a need in a rich man's life out of psycho fancy to get project i say honorable i've seen that you've been wearing only two shoes and he says you won't believe that i have only three he said i brought five you see that you brought five because you are hoping that you will buy relationship and it will work for you hallelujah find a need in the house of god look three of us let's come together koinonia needs more cameras how much is it x amount let's come together let's do an inventory consult with these people the house of god oh i think that i have two thousand naira, and my two thousand naira can buy three chairs in the house of god you come on friday dancing with three chairs three breakthroughs in your life as you drop it a sinner sits on that chair and the fire from heaven falls on him as he's getting born again let me tell you god is issuing a warning he sat on that chair to be blessed find a need don't wait until you are told you find a need ah, 
I look at this, what can I do? Find the need. But many believers don't. They just sit down. You need to see how believe, offering time is, is one of the most irritating time in many churches. Offering time and somebody just brings out something and tells his wife or whoever do you have they, know, just, they, take. they bring out 1000 they put it back they bring out 500 they put it back they bring out 200 naira the new one they put it back then they carry the old one say, oh, shall come and drop it and god is watching as soon as they finish they move straight to chicken republic and burn 5000 take ice cream for starters take all of this and call friends sometimes who are not godly let's come and enjoy and god sees your passion and then you lift your voice i love you lord god is said you're a liar that's that's not true you don't love me god so loved the world that he gave is that same attitude that follows men in marriage is that same attitude that follows in everything when you love without giving you a liar and a hypocrite true love comes with giving passionate sincere giving let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. When I lift up my seed before God, as I sow those seeds, I am happy. It is my joy that I want to live my life in such a way that every month I'll be buying a bus for a church somewhere. What a joy to get to a church and see and say, what is your budget? And they say, we need a new cathedral. How much? 20 million. And you say, okay, let me just have a private discussion with the pastor. And say, pastor, just give me the plan. Send your engineers to supervise. In three months, that church is lifted. Quietly. Noiseless contribution. You think God will allow men to will? If you have a helper like that, will you allow men to kill him? If your job is to pray for that person and the devil and god wakes you and says the devil wants to take his life oh no come on you will get an energy you never knew you had you will pray and say god it's better to take one of my legs than to kill that man but apostle i don't have much you will never have much you give your way to that much you give your way to that much you can sit down and say look what can I do for the worship team? We have just 100,000. Sam, this is for the dressing of the worship team. So they look good. This is to buy time for the media department. You don't have to come and say, make sure Apostle knows I'm the one. You have, you have killed and scattered and destroyed your potential. We live in a very political uh, Christianity where people like announcement and accolade. We are now announcing that chief a and b is the one who gave that golf outside Please, you have destroyed everything he says as you give let your right hand not know what you i'm not saying there's no place of honor don't get me wrong what can i do for you my lord i want you to know my not a question of what you can do for me but what can i do for you my that's love that's genuine love by the grace of god let me tell you and i say it with all humility i don't want you to do it for me there are people here people here i know they have committed themselves with resources to say joshua selman it should never it should never happen that you are looking for water and my seed does not come see let me tell you i say it with all humility i'm a blessed man i'm not talking about your money at all i don't serve god because of money not at this level god has been faithful are you getting what i'm saying now so don't think it's some coercion so that somebody will just bring an envelope no no but I'm telling you, you don't practice this, you will not be exempted though, from the woes where the heavens of men will be brass and their earth iron. Sacrifice. Don't listen to these junks that people have, have been warning you about people who don't fear God and don't know anything about God. To be carnally minded, the Bible says, is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Can now people come and discuss all kinds of things? 
you don't serve God with your resources, you will serve sickness. You will serve trouble. You will serve divorce. You will serve pain. You can serve your way and vow your way. I think I've shared that testimony here. How that there was a particular uh, man of God. It, it was years ago he gave this testimony, a very true one. Him and his wife, God is my witness. They were in a meeting. And I think they needed to roof a church or something like that. And whilst they were there, the man of God preaching was challenging people to sow into the work of God, you know, genuinely, not out of eye service and manipulation, genuinely. And the Lord just spoke to the man clearly that he should give up his house, his real house, real estate, his property, to give up his house and move to a rented house. Can you imagine that costly instruction? He didn't know how to tell his wife so according to him he said as soon as he held his wife's hand she started crying because the lord had told her the same thing too brothers may you marry a wife like that oh that will allow you obey god you marry a bad wife you will not be exempted may you marry a wife if all you are looking for is figure eight and you don't open up your spirit to pick signals that god can say this is what we are doing and your wife will say i may not understand but i trust you i trust the word of god upon your life say amen. amen and be serious about what you just had go around and choosing nonsense and destroy your life because to be carnally minded is what death you won't know now by the time the euphoria of young life is gone you will start seeing what it means to live with a man or a woman who does not fear god god says go left he said no we are going right god says go right and you perish like jonah hallelujah i believe i have had a chance to repent had he not married jezebel because he looked like a calm king she looked like a wicked demon that would not allow him was, he looked like a calm person but her presence there it's not a good thing so he held his wife's hand and they agreed the will of god be done how many of you know that if god gives you and your wife that kind of instruction relatives will kill you even christians they say which church first are you going to give the house that man that is already rich you, you people will never stop becoming fools in nigeria because to them giving is helping then they will now tell you we have the poor and the needy in the villages you don't give a poor man to be rich you give a rich man to be rich learn this principle you bless poor men to secure the help of God he says to answer you in the days of trouble but when you want to rise the law of honor you sow to a man that has attained the dimension you desire don't give poor people expecting to be rich all that superstitious thing that they say meet a leper and drop one naira is witchcraft you drop it you will be broke I tell you you sow into an anointing to rise I didn't sow to people less than me to be where I am you so higher the queen of sheba knew that's why she carried gifts and came to solomon do you bless a rich man that's why you are sowing into the anointing the very anointing that god has so you rise up to his realm people do foolish things in the body of christ with no spiritual intelligence and then we are doing zealous things but they don't bring results to us giving is helping so many people say the poor and the needy jesus said the poor you will always have with you you will always have don't be a hypocrite you will always have with you the person who is writing that junk journalism he didn't sell his ipad to give the poor he used an ipad of two hundred thousand to write nonsense about men of god you see that be careful how you hear don't let people make the truth, the simplicity of the gospel, become just a social discussion. A spiritual man is not just a homo sapien. A spiritual man hails from above with another life and another economy. You have to understand this. They obeyed God and they gave up the house. According to him, all hell broke loose everywhere, went haywire. You know, people will insult the woman. You mean you cannot advise your husband? What a stupid woman. The man look at your wife and children and when they went to a rented apartment gave up that i think they sold it and moved the church oh, I, I hope i'm getting the story right 
and then i think he said that god made a vow to him that he would never need to buy a house again in his life never and that man at the time he was speaking i think he was saying he had well over 10 houses none 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 came from his money one not part and then you complete it somebody builds a house furnishes it and say god instructed me now you see people operating at such a realm you don't know what they gave up you give up things to go up oh you give up things to go up you don't carry luggages to go up spiritually financially leadership you when you see people rising find out what they left behind nobody rises with luggages you must be willing to give up some things to rise in the anointing you must give up some things to rise in ministry you give up some things to rise serving God with your resources there are instructions today I don't like talking about my personal life and the instructions that God has given me but those close to me know my life is like a madman I am a reckless giver if you are close to me and we are sharing accounts you will take me to court because the lawyer will even be tired because you will not know what to say again I don't know how many times I have emptied my accounts at the instruction of the Lord to zero zero I'm not talking there is one secret one somewhere sincerely God is my witness as a ministry we have done it there was a year God gave an instruction at the start of the ministry to empty everything I told the finance department oh yeah oh. God said it let it go it was less than one week how many days less than one week almost ten times that amount came back do you believe this into the kingdom Lord this is for your glory there are times and I say this with all humility the finance department will send budget of another department and I tell them don't bother what a joy it's not because this is this is not my ministry this is God's ministry right I only lead this ministry by the privilege of his election but it is God's ministry but what a joy I tell them don't worry don't worry sometimes I see the concern in the treasurer's face and I'm happy I will never pity myself as to remain at my current level no what are you willing to give up to go up God is speaking to somebody what are you willing to give up to exempt you let me tell you there are people seeds I know is a covenant with God darkness will come and loom around them they will come out like smoke before the fire nothing will happen because the investments they have made for the kingdom is like it says it's, it's like the blood of abel crying there is blood through their sacrifice that is crying to the heavens you try to walk against me you are you are a joker I tell you I say this with all humility you are a joker it's not even me that will fight It's the altar that is full of seeds when you hear people cry and say my altar that thing is not some superstitious thing an altar is a place of sacrifice it's a threshing floor Bishop Oyedeko I think it was him or somewhere in living faith a story was being given about I think it was a woman who was a tither or a giver in the house of God and armed robbers came they were knocking i think they were about to shoot the man or the woman something like that and i think is it the giving booklet or the tight booklet the person brought and dropped it on the ground and said the armed robbers should cross it and come and kill them and they could not do anything when you engage them they walk when you imagine them they don't walk when you sit down and wish that they walk they don't walk they must be engaged there are things i have prayed for once that came into my life with speed there have been times in my life where I cried that God defend me and I prayed once over it because God said no problem you've got this covered your seeds do you have a sacrifice like Hezekiah in this time of exemption Lord I want a job Lord everybody in my family is not making it except me thank God I'm a Christian have you forgotten that your elder one is a pastor and still his wife has not given birth he's he's winning souls and his wife has not given birth sacrifice sacrifice Hannah gave her home before the child came and said, God look this is not about me oh. this is about you 
before the child arrives i've dedicated him and god says that's it i give it to you i know people here who have sacrificed please come Jimmy. let me tell you something about Jimmy. when we were preparing for a crusade the first time among all of us sorry i'm having to say this i know he may not like it he was the only one among us that time that had a computer a desktop right then he used to make shirts the poster of the first crusade he designed it by himself with joy as a sacrifice and then i remember when we that time we needed a lot of money and you know we're trusting god you know people were sowing but it was a need and he did two things now i'm not saying you should do it but he did two things that i will never never forget number one he carried his laptop his his computer i was just passing suleiman and i saw notice and i saw the description of the laptop and i met him i said why with jesus joy he said no that laptop must go we need the money i've told you about our ladies who would climb trees they were members of the worship team they were members of welfare they were members of everything the ladies because there was no money to buy firewood then with joy they would sing we still have the videos that time people like victor and aaron aaron was then please stand up aaron aaron was in charge of protocol this aaron you see victor that you see the head of protocol he was in technical then that time they would carry wood on their head and then dance hey -oh. that was the song they used to sing hey -oh. dancing hey -oh. my season has come i remember hold on 11 years ago 11 years ago pouring their heart to the kingdom are we together see brothers and sisters i remember his mother dear mother of blessed memory one silver watch the most expensive watch then i had ever used remember when his mom went to london and bought it and said they should give me the day god asked me to sew that thing i wanted to die but i still gave it hi god but i get it i mean it went i'm glad it went glad it went it would have been the only one i still have till now the mother alongside other women in lagos mobilized welfare packages remember and they brought all of that i remember that time aaron we went with two luxurious buses when we were going to for the for the crusade in abuja how they mobilized it i do not even know we're praying and planning bless you and thank you jimmy so don't be surprised when his children are intelligent and happy he served his way to that his children will never beg for bread not when i'm alive even if he decides to be careless with his life it's too late not when i'm alive if he decides today that i will never do anything kingdom again together with his wife i said i i, I agree for you to be an extra luggage in my life let's keep going when we are talking about koinonia 10 years from now will your name be mentioned no 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 don't say don't this is not an issue of amen i'm asking you a serious question will you say will you say listen listen will you say this speaker came because my seed was there oh i remember the tie that this gentleman used right people giving their hearts and their lives graduates standing as if they are foolish you think these guys are idiots for just standing like this working some of them have come from their various workplaces and it's evening there are people who come in every week from other states it's a sacrifice see let me tell you the, the moment you find yourself complaining about the house of god know that that spirit is there to destroy you because everything god designs in the kingdom is for your good not for his good he's already self-sufficient don't forget el shaddai he said if you will not praise me 
it is within my power to raise up stones god don't replace me i'm still available and i'm willing there is such a thing like replacement because now i neither hot or cold i will spew thee from my mouth for as long as i live i will not only praise god my resources must join me and praise god what use do i have having cars when the house of the lord is not advanced real estate real nonsense the real estate is a kingdom estate traveling on vacation spending a million dollars over a week no except i've done something satisfactorily for the kingdom there is a minimum of amount of offering that i cannot give i will be wicked and unfair to god and to his faithfulness in my life if at this level he has brought me financially i give god certain levels of offering no there is an amount i trust god to get to a target of an amount that i give god never less than it if it is in your heart god will bring it in your hand if at this level i squeeze one thousand i squeeze two thousand give god as an offering i'm a wicked person how much do i eat with how much are my clothes and then the house of god two thousand three thousand me no there are some of you as you are sitting here god has lifted you what you're giving has remained so your giving drew you back because it said your giving told god you were not yet qualified and god said if your giving says remain i can't say you should rise remain i have given dangerous seeds in my life i have sown seeds on behalf of my parents for their longevity i have sown seeds on behalf of my children unborn i have sown seeds on behalf of this ministry ask those who know me this ministry is a giving ministry the economic system of koinonia is a crazy system that's why many times i thank god for the way church runs because if it's america i'm sure they would have sued us now say no 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 this and that and that you sow that seed and god gives you faithful people he may not give you money back but he will give you one person that will reduce headache there has not been any case in this ministry that has starved me of sleep to say somebody just came and is stubborn no parents you can use sacrifice to bail every nonsense out of your children when a woman gives birth a man buys a jeep for her which is wonderful right when a child takes first position they fly him to hawaii rather than doing that invest in his future first and say lord this is for my child i buy this speaker for the house of god not nonsense not change not carry torn clothes and say lord i give it in your house you don't give god rubbish no you give god i will not give god anything that will not cost me anything. i look forward to times oh god sees my heart when if i hear any church make noise they want something before they say anything is provided and god will open doors for you beyond your imagination if your if your purpose of financial prosperity is just to wear designers and fly private jets is too small a reason for god to rend the heavens and give you a blessing that you will not have room enough lord if you're healing someone in this city don't do it without me that's my prayer lord don't do it without me oh lord if you're changing someone in this nation please don't do it without me don't do it without me oh may 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 it never come to a point in my life when my seed stops advancing the kingdom please tell me what else will i be doing with it servicing sickness 
service in poverty as i'm speaking to you you see your greed rising you are trying to believe what i'm saying but your greed is fighting you i wish you would push this thing away no sir god wants to help you i show you the mysteries of blessings that people just rise up god has said it's the year of trial because you are still going to see people rise up in strange ways you will see it's already happening to people you are hearing testimonies of people and you're saying what exactly are they doing that they are rising because in the world system you have they have to show you the boss and the salary slip but this one the, the boss is invisible the business is by faith but the reward is the only thing you see don't do it without me don't do it without me sacrifice of your life your resources sometimes when i'm going for ministrations i'm so tired sleeping in the car or sleeping in the plane and i'm asking myself why why am i doing this do i have to do this and i just remember it's a privilege i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping you lord take my body my soul my money and breathe on me he has to take everything take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me listen if you give God your spirit, you give God your brain and leave your pocket, you are carnal and a liar because where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. Are we together? My life, my finances and every part of me is open for his scrutiny, his probing and his instructions any day, any time without prior notice belongs to him. We are going to pray. You want to be exempted? There is a price. I know many of you just believe. I will just tell you. Be exempted in Jesus name. Brothers and sisters. There is a price. I won't lie to you. I fear God too much to deceive you. What is the disadvantage of not being exempted? Write it down. The disadvantage of not being exempted. Was in the scripture we considered with Cain. He said all who see me will slay me he didn't say all men all things that see me will slay me the disadvantage the major disadvantage of not being exempted is that you become a victim of anything and everything write it down you become a victim of anything and everything although redeemed although potentially speaking you should not be a victim of those things but you become a victim of anything and everything without hope for recovery the bible says these people have been alienated from the life of god through ignorance it says having their understanding darkened they have been alienated from the life of god alienated from the life of god through ignorance listen it's a risk to give birth to a child and not know whether that child will live long or not it's too risk if you've lost a child i i my heart goes out to you don't feel bad but i'm telling you there is a way out please listen to me it's a risk not knowing that you come out today and go back remember there are those who have done it we are not the first to do it remember our song we are surrounded by many they have crossed this river there are men who have lived that long i looked at my father and my mother one time that i went to greet them and i was just smiling do you know one thing i know will keep my parents long thanksgiving if there is anything i've learned about my father my father is a man who can thank god in a way that will annoy you he would thank you know how old people thank god 
they thank God for things you consider to be silly. We young people say, please, if it's uh, the, the air you breathe, is, we, we thank God. Until the day you breathe through a tube for one month, you stay and breathe in and out, you will say thank you. I've had the opportunity to go to hospitals and to see people. I remember the most recent, I think it was sometime last year, went to see one, went to see one of our ladies. And I went there, close to her bed, I watched somebody die. I watched it, the process. Hi. At that point, all your greed follows you to the grave. All your seeds that have refused to be given, like the rich fool, the consequences of not using your resources. He said, this day, he sat down and built a barn and put the money and said, my soul, you have money in GT Bank. You have money in Zenith. You have real estate. You are a millionaire. Find rest. And God says, thou fool, your soul today, today will be required of you. Money does not follow men to the grave. Hmm. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Pay attention and leave. And you know that your life will be great oh i'm standing today now one shoe one bag one room one stove one pot but i'm sowing my way is there a guarantee that tomorrow this loss will work for me and then i will be the one to be able to turn back and be a blessing ask me i have the answer that's how we rose that's why when people are bragging and saying we are this we are the intellectuals have had this we went to this some of us know how we came we served our way through the mercy of god and look what god has done today do you know why it is marvelous in our eyes because it is the lord's doing if it's a man's doing is too small to be marvelous in your eyes you are marvelous here you are marvelous here. You are marvelous here. Marvelous here. Marvelous. That's what men will begin to say about your life. That you are marvelous here. You are marvelous here. You are allow any man despise you you may not have it now but you are walking your way sister you don't need to prove to anybody you can buy nothing the word of god will prove itself continue you may not have what it takes wear your one shoe honorably don't borrow anybody's shoe and tie to prove any point there's too much truckload of proofs coming in the future i know you're a man of god you have only one tie iron it with honor and so so into the kingdom don't buy suits you are not wise if you do that no i want to package myself so that i will look like apostle you are cheating yourself you won't look like me soon let me just tell you the truth you will between me and you is a ladder of obedience you will have to climb it diligently and by the grace of god my job is to shorten your journey not take it away that journey is there you will walk it that's why i don't pity people when they cry sometimes it's good to let the tears roll i love you but i cannot stop your journey i can only reduce it so sometimes people cry and say apostle nothing is working and they think i will clean the tears i say no let it flow because to, if it does not flow you will not clean somebody's own it's not wickedness there are times i've seen people in situations i want to bless them and the lord said no don't interrupt what i'm doing in their life they are, I'm, I'm showing them something and I'm saying, Lord, but they know I can help them. Say, no, no, I'm teaching them trust. Just like it's happening to someone right now. Every door of your helpers have closed. God is saying, it's deliberate. Oh. Don't even try to pray for open doors because I'm the one closing it to teach you. I'm teaching you how to rejoice in the storm. I'll praise you in the storm. Remember, I will lift my hands you are who you are no matter where i am and every tear that falls 
you hold in your hands listen let me tell you something i'm preaching a message to you now koinonia don't be ashamed of your tears let it flow let everyone see you cry so that when you rejoice they will say you cheated you followed the laws you cried mommy you may cry but cry in faith cry honorably as you sow the seed there is he that weepeth bearing precious seeds i remember the day the lord asked me to sow 80 percent of my clothes everything 80 percent 80 percent of everything before then he had asked me to give everything i've shared with you the testimony 2007 in port Harcourt, i carried everything i had home and abroad plus the rechargeable lantern that was all i had laid my hands and prayed on it for three hours dragged it to church then god decided to disgrace me i was in the overflow outside when people were giving god said i should sit down when people were now giving cars and lands when they finished god said you can now go i was moving ladies were looking at me guys were looking at me but i was looking at my future oh yes i was oh yes i was and i went and dropped that thing the bag was not i don't even know what they did with it when they dropped that bag i went back and sat down i did it for his house and the lord spoke to me and said my son from today you have entered wealth men walk by mysteries my mother is one of the happiest people around it's not just because we're alive it's because of the quality of the children she has we're discussing with HB today i bless my parents till the day jesus comes till the day jesus comes without fail whether they obey scriptures or not i am obedience to them the same way the priest they, they receive tithes on behalf of the levites have received it for them may you do that for your parents so may your obedience today make your parents live long so that you will take away this stress that is killing parents young now you see a parent 70 years they can't walk because the son at 40 is still coming mommy please can you borrow me hundred thousand how much is my pension he said just give me are you determined to be exempted we are going to pray sister take my message seriously barrenness is still real barrenness does not just come on bad ladies who live wayward lives there are sincere people you can start exempting yourself now don't wait until the day you get married and try and try and try and nothing happens gentleman don't wait until the day a landlord harasses you you say i'll start giving start now don't wait and say apostle but I've, I've not, i'm not even in a relationship that's the good time to start sowing that seed your seeds can go ahead of your future lord i carry these sacrifices for you it's for you ask Ejimi. he's a witness what did i do with all my scholarships not once did i i was on two scholarships i was on mobile i was on total final elf then they used to call it then there was no gt bank in zaria who we'll go to kaduna and cash it ask him he's a witness everything went for the kingdom other people were buying laptop they were buying this i used my scholarship for the kingdom behind every story every glory there is a story don't just sit down desiring men's results this is what this covetousness in the body of christ oh god i like a jimmy's watch i like this i like pastor alpha's shoe stop those things that that's not how to claim you claim through obedience obedience we are really going to pray seriously because i want you to be exempted listen to me brothers and sisters the danger that looms around there is real danger psalm 91 tells us there is danger on your children born or unborn from the womb now children get mysteriously sick father does not have that sickness mother does not have that sickness from that period of conception to delivery the child comes out with one kind of nonsense i remember one of our ladies who gave birth to one baby he later died 
you know i remember them meeting me they gave it to the baby the baby was an imbecile you know nothing neck will not move hand will not move nothing and i remember the pain the mother used to go through i went back to god and i said lord what happened what happened and then i told them i said look sacrifice is the last bus stop in this kingdom when all else fail you sacrifice is a master key it will tear that heaven open i show you a mystery there are times i've come to certain places that i know some doors will not open i prayed they didn't open i fasted they didn't open and i reached out through intelligence i took seeds that shook heaven and i swung those doors open and solomon loved the lord and solomon said gather me one thousand animals they said sir are you dashing people he said don't ask me any question bring knife slaughter them number one number two he says spill the blood there was a field god kept watching he said let's watch how far he will go when he got to 500 he didn't stop god said my god what is this who is this man who gave him this kind of heart to sacrifice immediately god came to him and said solomon you called me sacrifice has a voice it can call god I'm telling you a mystery some of you are in situations right now your education cannot bring you out it will not bring you out you are in a situation where you are about to break through something the pastor in your family with all his anointing did not was not exempted from that trouble bad luck people rise to certain levels the moment they reach there they crash you are number seven out of 13 people nobody's walking and you say i got first class you better switch there is a mystery of exemption everybody that married in your family the lifespan of the marriage was four years they prayed in tongues the marriage is scattered because there is a spirit covenanted authoritatively it takes sacrifice i have done this for myself i have done this for koinonia hi brothers and sisters you are sitting on blood you are not just sitting on chairs you are sitting on tears you are sitting on sacrifices that brought you that's what brought you here it's not joshua selman's revelation sacrifice many people cannot do this thing it's hard that's why very few are exempted i never told you it will be easy i won't lie to you there is he that weepeth there are things this man has done there are sacrifices i remember one time i'm sorry i'm having to say it. he carried a seed together with his wife and i knew this was a serious sin there are people here who have done it sacrifices unto death a kind of sacrifice that when you finish you say god i hope this thing is right i hope it works i told you about my mother my mother almost brought tears out of my eyes i think it was towards the end of last year she said her death will my mother said if she dies any benefit that will come they should transfer it to koinonia a woman alive covenanting her will for god where is the devil that will kill her that's the realm where you say for for me to live is christ and to die is king listen we rise in this kingdom through sacrifice we exempt ourselves through sacrifice strange sacrifice i have watched it open doors for me i have watched it open doors for people great men that you see in this nation the secret is not just the sacrifice of prayer their seeds have gone if I tell you I don't practice this, I, you, I, you, those close to me know. I am a bank of walking seeds. Nothing just stays idle. I send it to my future. I send it fast. I may cry sending it. Hallelujah. I was talking to a Jimmy and I was telling him, I said, I have so much recharge card in my phone. I don't know what to do. He asked me how much. I said 41,000. What will I do with a recharge card? My phone loaded with 41,000. One naira is not from me. 
one naira is not for me what will i do with it you are not ready for blessings till your seed speaks oh you mean you are enjoying no no when blood touches the earth heaven must answer Who said your family will never be rich? There is this cause of poverty. Eh, you have been giving, you just give 10,000, 10, give 10 naira. You are not ready to move. Oh, let me tell you the truth. There is a day you come and say, Lord, my children, I served idols. My father served idols. It was in idolatry I gave my life to Christ. I've not even stabilized my stand. I know these altars are fighting me. Therefore, I lift up a fortification. Gather unto me, my saints. Psalm 50 verse 5. Please give it to us. They that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. A covenant with me by sacrifice. Listen. You are at a phase in your life where you should not pity money. Listen. Listen to me. Wasteful spending is bad. But fearful spending is demonic. You don't spend your money buying shoe. Spend your money breaking altars. Spend your money breaking covenant. Leave all those shoes. Don't be foolish. They will come. Prove any point to anybody. Lord, I have watched my elder brother rubbish. I watched my elder sister. She got married and got mad this first day. This will not happen. Oh, I know it will not happen because I'm in Koinonia. If you don't do what Koinonia people are doing, you'll be surprised. I'm showing you the secrets. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. They will sit with you like this and tell you they are coming to jail you. Coming to take you to prison. Coming to take you to this. You cannot pay your rent. Your sacrifice. That's when you see that sacrifice is powerful. There is a lady, I don't know if she testified. I have the text message in my phone. I shared it with you, Jimmy. Two days ago, her mother practically died. And the girl said, no, 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 no way. And she caught, I think she may be a worker or so. She sent a text. I told her to come and share it by herself. I don't know if she was a worker or whatever. And do you know, this lady said, she said, Kai, I can't use my faith again. Everything went bad. And she sent me a text. You know what she sent? She said, Apostle, I can't use faith. I use the covenant you have with God. Do you know what I did? I put the text. I told you, Jimmy, what I did. I put the text and I threw it on my bed. I said, Lord, look at what this lady said. Her mother came back to life yesterday. Yesterday. The text is still in my phone. Take over. Take over. Lord, I've come. end of greed hallelujah hallelujah i have come listen listen till today they serve idols in my village till today they serve idols in my village with the reign of christianity you are not the first to have causes i told you demons used to oppress me as a man of god anointed healing the sick i went to pastors i said what is this thing that demons come to press me in the night they said i don't have faith i said what is faith i've done everything they define faith to be brothers and sisters there are certain altars that after you have prayed i wish what i'm telling you is a lie i know you are in christ but i show you the mysteries behind the pain of men there are some seeds alone that will break some altars and smash it to pieces and in one year one year when it was time to save man jesus christ god did not make a pronouncement he dragged his son when the son went to Golgotha, when his blood dripped that's why no power the only power that can overcome god is the power that can give a son with that same condition 
any other deity that can turn a god to become a son and sacrifice him will have more power than god he looked around the heavens and found no one greater and he swore by himself the seed shall bruise the head the seed please look at me look at me if i have preached and i have told you a lie may a curse come upon me and my children that are unborn if i have manipulated you for any gain listen i don't care who you are how old you are what you read if you want to rise above witchcraft in this life you want to rise and match the head of the devil it's not just your prayer and your voice there is he that weepeth you don't just drop money like that the sacrifice is not in the money is the value on you and tie it with an expectation lord they say my womb will not open you have seen three of your sisters barring you are there jumping up and down and saying i am they are, they are not barring because they are devils they just do not understand the mystery of exemption koinonia is sitting upon this mystery that's why you see us rising by his grace those who don't understand we just think oh these people are just lucky there's no luck in this thing oh. there's no luck in this thing you will engage it there is a mystery there is a mystery that exempts men from all of these vicissitudes of life please i want you to believe it in the name of the lord god of heaven and open up yourself because we are going to do some serious prayers this night is not a night to just joke around we came to pray within the few minutes we have to pray i like you to pray remember we're exempting ourselves rise up on your feet and in the next five minutes i want you to blast in tongues as to one who is ready for exemption lord it can't continue like this lord my family cannot continue like this Pray, pray. Pray. The Lord will honor you. You are in the presence of the mighty one. You are accessing secrets that will exempt you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud as and serious. Please be serious. Say, Lord Jesus. The yoke of suffering. Say it, the yoke of suffering. The yoke of hardship upon my family and upon my life. I command that it be lifted tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lift it out of your life. There is such a yoke upon families. Doesn't matter whether you are working or not. Doesn't matter whether you are in business or not. You keep blaming other people. Whereas the trouble is from you. Shake 
Come on, believers, pray. Come on, believers, pray. So pray to Skeparatakata. Ebratala Soto Prekeshele Baranamala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I want you to pray three major areas in your life where that exemption must show immediately. Listen, there are many areas. Choose three areas in your life and pray. This is an instruction. Pray it with your heart. Mention it. Lord, this unfruitfulness. This, 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 my family. Mention them if it's your finances. I'm blasting tongues and say it must leave. It must leave. Prophesy. Prophesy. His ears are open. Prophesy. His ears are open. Prophesy. His ears are open. Prophesy. Exemption in this year of triumph. I provoke it in this year of triumph. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to pray and say, Lord, the attachment I have to money, the attachment I have to material things that will not let me sacrifice, take it away from my life. Please pray. You really need that separation. Canality. 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 Attachment to money, attachment to material things that will not allow you release resources. The fear of lack, the fear of resources finishing. Cause it, cause it. Malakata praskada barado shubris, ende prata la koto sobrish karya. Everything given to God multiplies. It does not diminish. Everything given to God multiplies. It does not diminish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to challenge you to do something. This is not my culture, but I want to challenge you. Whatever seed you have, anything, maybe some financial resources, you can help somebody with it if you have more. It's not about, you always hear me say this, it's not, we're a very blessed ministry. I say it with all humility. We are a very, very, very blessed ministry. His grace has been faithful. So this is not about money, but if if you have something that you can connect with, please, uh, no matter how small, no matter how little, connect with something. I want to pray a prayer. I want to pray a prayer. Connect with something. Help somebody. Don't sit down greedily saying, I don't know him. Take over. Over, 
I have come to the end of myself Take over, jump over I have touched the end of myself Hallelujah, hallelujah I have come to the end of myself Hallelujah Sweetheart, come I have come to the end of myself Take over, jump over I have come to the end of myself Hallelujah Praise the Lord Finance department Somebody, a representative should stand for Koinonia In this prayer we are praying because we are also a ministry that believes the word so we are not just telling people to do it we stand on behalf of the ministry we are all going to so I want to pray and the seed shall bruise the head of the serpent I want to pray please listen don't give anything foolishly don't give anything emotionally are we together don't just carry your phones and give emotionally and carry please make sure everything you do is based on understanding you don't have a seed you are not going to hell are we together if you don't have a seed you can touch make contact with somebody who has a seed that way at least it can help it's not it's not about money brothers and sisters This is one of the biggest mysteries behind the life of this man you see standing before you. My life is a fountain of blood that drips. You don't kill a dead man. A sacrifice already killed him. I have enjoyed the blessings of God in my life. I have seen doors open in strange ways. I have seen access many people think it's because i'm a man of god no it's because of the principle of the world i want to pray for you lord jesus we stand before you tonight in total faith you are teaching us in this house the mystery of exemption and lord you have taught us how kingdom service can exempt men we are not doing this emotionally we are not doing this to coerce ourselves but lord in the name of jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare that by this seed I prophesy upon lives upon destinies from tonight a dimension of breakthrough you have never seen I release it upon you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I declare that any charm any altar any pronouncement any yoke I don't care how long it has lingered around your life you have prayed it has refused to go you have fasted it has refused to go you even danced and it refused to go I prophesy may your seed answer tonight may your seed answer tonight Lord according to Psalms 50 verse 5 he said gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice I pray if I be sent of God I stand oh God upon this altar in the name of Jesus as you are holding this seed I command judgment in the camp of the enemy judgment right now in the camp of the enemy may the fire fall on your seed may the fire fall on your seed May the fire fall on your seed. May the fire fall on your seed. Shabakata la koto so prekete. Legete kata. 
the Lord God that answers by fire the God of Elijah that descends upon the sacrifice in the name of Jesus as it burns this sacrifice it burns every altar as it burns this sacrifice it burns every charm it burns every pronouncement it burns every pronouncement therefore by this seed I prophesy be exempted from death be exempted from luck be exempted from struggling be exempted from disfavor be exempted I don't care how it has been in your family by this seed I change the patterns tonight I change the patterns tonight I change the patterns tonight everything called dead in your life everything that has refused to resurrect in your life everything keeping you at the same level you are growing older but you are not moving the truth is you are not making progress the last three years you have been at the same place i push you forward now by the power of prophecy i push you forward now i push you forward now anyone here already marked for death Cain said this punishment is too much I don't care what law you broke I don't care what access you gave the devil it was Cain that said my punishment is too much he said any man that sees me any poverty that sees me anything that sees me will slay me and God said I put a mark I prophesy upon you right now let me tell you some of you will feel a physical hand a physical hand upon your forehead putting a mark in the name of Jesus I invoke the covenant of this office that I stand upon I invoke the covenant of this office that I stand if I be a man of God at the count of three let that mark come upon men one two three take it take it that mark of exemption that mark of exemption over death over poverty over disfavor over close heavens i shall put a separation between those that serve him and those that do not serve him where your personal faith has has failed and is limited where your prayer life is limited i boost your resolve by the sacrifice upon this altar in the name of jesus christ may you receive results you know are bigger than you in the name of jesus christ therefore i declare whatever close the heavens over you so that nothing to celebrate comes you are serving god but there's nothing to say god has been faithful i decree and declare in the name of jesus before miracle service next week as surely as the god of heaven leaves return with laughter return with strange laughter return with strange laughter hallelujah i pray for every family represented here let me tell you listen whenever you pray never forget our families because many families are in big trouble big it's only individuals that have been exempted no matter how you rise if things are not okay for your people you are still in trouble are we together because their envy 
will kill you and draw you down if out of a family of 15 people you are the only one who rises alone get set for trouble you are ready to pay the school fees of 14 people you are ready to take care of children that you cannot account for therefore i pray as the seed speaks for you let it grow wings and extend to your family members let it grow wings and extend to your family members in the name of jesus christ uncommon favor uncommon unction uncommon anointing uncommon help receive it in the name of jesus hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you